What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a little while. Uh, I got vaccinated. There's my card to prove it. I'm just kidding. Um, it's actually not even my hat. But welcome back. Um, I know last time we were here, left off with the Super Duty build. I still have my rear end axle over there, which I finally decided that I'm going to get rid of. Um, there's a lot of adjustments that I'm going to have to make on the rear end for that Super Duty axle to fit in the rear end. Um, and I'm really not wanting to make too many adjustments because I do have a 5.0. Um, pushing two Super Duty axles might be a little much for it. Uh, plus I have a rear 410 gear and I feel like that'll just be a lot better than a 373 So we're gonna stick with um, The same rear axle So a lot of you guys may be thinking well if he sticks with the same rear axle One axle is gonna be wider than the other and I understand that so what I'm going to do I'm gonna be a cheapskate because that's just kind of how I roll um, what I'm going to do is put wheel spacers on the rear end of the truck um, to match the front of the truck. So that may indicate in me putting a one inch spacer in the front and like two to even three in the back. I don't know. You know, we'll throw wheels on. We'll measure it out when the time comes. Right now, I just try, want to get this front axle under the truck as soon as I can. Um, probably won't be till springtime because it's freezing and shop's not enclosed. Uh, well, I can close it. It just doesn't keep heat very well because it's absolutely huge um, So we're gonna wait till springtime to attack that but overall um, Went down southern Indiana got the axle really nice uh, people down there bought it for 625 um, has missing lockouts on it, but no big deal nothing we can't fix uh, everything else that I was looking for on these axles was like 1200 plus um, or they wanted me to come to their property and pull it which I don't have any problem with that but if I'm gonna travel two hours and I don't have the right tools or I don't have the, anything to jack it up with or it's sitting in the mud I don't want to do that so I'd rather pay you extra money just to pull it out and I'll just come pick it up which is exactly what happened and it worked out really well but back to what I was talking to earlier, um, since I am getting rid of the rear end, someone can come buy it. I'm in central Indiana. Once again, this is what it looks like. It's all painted up, um, wire brushed it up. You know, it looks all right. I wouldn't say it's perfect. Uh, 373 gears, um, come and get it. It's listed for 500 right now. Um, shoot me a DM if you want it. We can make a deal. Also, I've got the Super Duty stocks here. If somebody wants to buy those, um, you can come buy those as well. Um, probably only do like 200 bucks for them. And then as soon as the swap is over, I will have these wheels for sale as well. They're five by five, five by 5.5 lug, um, standard 1990 F-150 lug pattern. I want to send a uh, special shout out to my daddy. My daddy went with me down to southern Indiana and helped me pick up this axle. Um, no questions asked. You know, we just headed down there. He's got a busy day out of his schedule. Um, so we went down there. So thankful that he could help me out with that. Um, but he just left. Um, I, I'm at his house right now. And... I'm about to take the axle out of the back of his truck with the skid loader. Hopefully we don't dent anything. Put a damper on the day, wouldn't it? Oh, safety first. Ooh. Like a kitty. Oh, well, cold start action for you boys today. So, yeah, this be her.
a little muddy. Uh, that's all right though. Hopefully uh, everything works right. Lots of nice rust. It's gotta come off. Ooh, yeah. Hey, I'm just happy it spins. But check this out. Right here. If that were to, you know, just slip a little bit, we could have had some issues there. And my daddy wouldn't be happy. Yeah, nice and smooth. So, like I said, need some hubs. Um, it's got all the steering linkage. Here. It's got all the steering linkages. Uh, track bar. Probably going to have to buy an adjustable track bar from Rough Country. Uh, no big deal, but got my radius arms. You know, it all looks pretty good. Pretty happy. You know, for 625 and that I didn't have to pull it, I'll take it. Um, got some people helping me out a little bit. So I'm ready to get started.
One last thing before I head off of here. Uh, actually, no, I lied. Like f- four things. Go buy merch, okay? I don't know how much longer it's going to be in stock, so go buy it now while, you, while it's there. Um, we got hats still. Um, actually, we just got a lot of hats, so go get hats right now because those always fly off the shelf. Last thing, I know my YouTube channel is boring. I get that. If you say that in the comments, it's no surprise to me. So joke's on you. Um, but something happened today while I was taking this axle out that was pretty embarrassing. So if you want to see it, get this video to 2,000 views, and I'll show what happened. Um, not going to give you more much much more detail on that, but it was kind of scary, kind of embarrassing at the same time. Um, so like this up, and I'll post it. The shims have like little holes in them, and I believe they go by like 5 16th of an inch. That way that you can have your axle sitting directly under the truck like it needs to be. Um, I know they have adjustable track bars. Um, you can also use those as well. Um, but it's really convenient that if you're just a couple you know, inches off that those shims are in there. Um, I think that's all I really have for today. But on a serious note, go check Joel out at Blowing Diesel Merch or Blowing Diesel. He has two accounts, one personal, one business. Um, myself and another person that I probably shouldn't mention um, that is also has an OBS um, happens to be blue I sent her that way as well she'll be using some of Joel's stuff hopefully you know who you are um, can't wait to rock blowing diesels brackets and uh, all the conversions for the super duty axle swap that's pretty much it for today um, not gonna do a whole lot it's muddy, it's rusty, and it's freaking cold outside. I don't even know if I can turn the hose on, so we're not going to mess with it today. Um, but just wanted to give a shout out real quick to Blowing Diesel. Blowing Diesel is going to be doing a lot of my conversion kit. Um, he's actually working on a full Super Duty kit right now to sell it to the public. You guys should go hit up his page. He also has a YouTube channel that literally is like a guide for everything you need to know about your Super Duty swap. So go hit him up. You can watch everything he does. He makes these brackets, puts puts him puts them on his truck, and then goes out and tests them. He tells you exactly how he feels about it. And he also shows you little things that you need to know about your Super Duty swap that you may not have known before on how to adjust, how to get your axle straight. Um, he makes shims for the track bar to place the axle directly under your truck. 